Hey. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. Back to our third episode of our podcast. <laughs> we are retired fangirls. I'm Kaylee. I'm Megan. And we are daughters of Aphrodite. We used to play certain characters from the Heroes of Olympus series on this YouTube channel. If you're watching, if you know, you know. Um, but yeah, so we started a podcast recently. This is our third episode. I cannot believe. I feel like we just recorded our last one. <laughs> no, you texted me yesterday. You were like noon tomorrow. And I was like, oh my gosh. It's happening? <laughs> to record. No, I know. It's wild. Um, but yeah, I used to work at Camp Half-Blood Austin. There's also one in Brooklyn. Don't know much about her, but I used to work at a real life Camp Half-Blood um, based on the Percy Jackson books. So we are wearing our Camp Half-Blood shirts today. Mine is from Camp Half-Blood Austin. And a quick little PSA is that they are in need of donations to stay open this summer, which is sad. You know, the pandemic hit us hard. So consider donating or just spreading the word because that place has been my home for like a decade now and they mean everything to me. So check them out, go sign up. And in addition to them meaning a lot to Kaylee, there are kids who are reading the books now and especially with the show coming out, there's going to be a whole new generation of Percy Jackson fans yeah. and they're going to want, you know, to have that experience to go to that camp to like pretend they're a demigod for a week or however long they're there. So support how you can, support if you can, and if it's just spreading the message, you know, you're helping like kids today go out and like have these once in a lifetime experiences. So true. Yeah. So it's going to be camp haplitaustin.org. Um, camp haplitaustin.org slash donate to find out more about the fundraiser. Love you all. Mwah. Spreading love. We'll also drop that link in the description. So if you're listening on Spotify, you can click. Uh, and if you're on YouTube, obviously, you know where to find it. I forgot we're on Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> anybody listening from there probably not but we're yeah, here Ryan does every week and then he sends us the live update oh I'm so glad <laughs> I love that for us my shirt is from actual camp and I have a lot of signatures on here where's your shirt from did you make that no my shirt is from webofwonder.co it is um our good friend Ren who is on this channel her um store which has like shirts and necklaces and stuff that she designs but also a lot of um candles and wax melts based on fictional characters and they smell incredible I have Piper running in my wax melt right now so if you want to smell like how she imagines a character would I would definitely check out that store no I love run store I'm like the amount of times I've been like omg I have a friend who's like birthday's coming up can you make me something now <laughs> like <laughs> like recently my best friend in Texas her birthday was like February 19th and I was like oh my god I don't know to get her I was like can you make a twilight candle because she loves twilight and she ended up making her a, a twilight candle and then she has like a lot of cool Harry Potter candles she sent us all Percy Jackson wax melts which I'm like <laughs> I don't even want to melt them because I want to save them. I know. She sent me like a six pack of Piper. Um, so that one feels super safe to have going because I have so much of it. But yeah, I don't want to drop because the hazel one smells so good. Um, I don't want it to be gone. <laughs> you like reuse your wax melts. Like do you, when it melts, do you go back and you put it back in? Or do you um, just I'll just use the scent until it loses its scent. It'll just like be my room like I'll turn it off and on but it'll be the scent that I use until it doesn't smell anymore toss it when it's done smelling yeah usually I do the same but I'm like maybe I should like reuse it somehow I don't know it gets everywhere it's so annoying <laughs> but yeah not sponsored by the way guys not sponsored <laughs> friend if you do want to sponsor us you don't have to pay I'll do this for a candle you know <laughs> 
advertising, go to web of wonder dot co. Is it <laughs> web of wonder co? Wait, it's web of wonder dot co. Web of wonder dot co. Co. Yep, you're right. Mm -hmm. Love it. I'm on it right now. I'm browsing. <laughs> I know. I'm like online shopping. Let me let me share my screen for y'all. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> let's shop together. Accessories. That's cute. She's definitely gonna be making a lot more like Taylor Swift stuff too. Mm -hmm. Well, especially with the concert coming up. Yeah. Um, that shirt all the way to the right. So if you're listening on Spotify, it is a white T-shirt covered in like little Percy Jackson graphics. Um, I love that one because it's a very much like if you know, you know, and otherwise it just looks like it's a New York shirt because it has like Empire State and like a necklace. Like people aren't going to look at that and immediately peg you. So if you want to peg you as a Percy Jackson fan. So if you want to be like a more discreet, like peg you. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, if you want to be like a more discreet, like, you know, fan, she's got great shirts for that. Do you own this shirt? Of course I own this shirt. I need to get this one. I'm kind of like on a clothes buying ban right now. Though. I am too. <laughs> God. Okay, we got some necklaces. There's Camp Haplin necklaces too. If you guys don't want to go through the trouble making your own. Wow, you're like really truly an ambassador. <laughs> yep. Just like Bran. You can sponsor me if you want. I'd love it, but also don't because you're my friend and that feels weird. <laughs> we we're working together. It's a collaboration. She has these cool bucket list things. You can also follow her on TikTok and she like scratches them out or walks you through her process of making um the scents or the bucket list. Very, very fun fun indeed oh she got a rory candle i'm like recently watched like re-watching gilmore girls i've never seen it should i take the plunge it's cute see like i think you would like it okay like comforting love 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 yeah go check it out guys obsessed okay wait one more wax melt beautiful I love her art style too. I think it's so fun. Right? I feel like it's hard to find like good merch. <laughs> like bookish merch. That's not like. Do uh, you remember the era? I know you do. When YA novels were at their peak and there was that symbol where it was like uh, the Deathly Hollows with the trident and the Mockingjay. <laughs> right and then the thing from Mortal Instruments, I think. I never read that series. Multi-fandom symbol. Found it immediately. <laughs> That's all you need to know. That's a war flashback for me. This tattoo, it's like, this is what I want. <laughs> this is what I wanted. Oh, my word. Like a little Triss in there, too. Your diaper. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we've got Harry Potter. This is Mortal Instruments. This is Hunger Games. Percy Jackson. What is this? The fire. The little fire in a circle is Divergent. Oh, Divergent, right. That was a good one, too. Mm-hmm thinking about her all the time I think I had an I actually think I have a necklace of this I'm not gonna lie um Ronnie does our friend Ronnie has that little symbol for the necklace I have it and I will find it <laughs> yeah I, I think I have it oh this is everything you guys don't understand you guys weren't there I had you to be there I want there to be a renaissance so bad and I think like at some point there will be because we have the twilight renaissance the harry potter renaissance is happening like there's a show coming out the percy jackson renaissance is on the horizon but i want a true like why a tumblr like book really? moment i feel like it can never be redone no try to think what's a good like fantasy okay i'm not into reading right now but I think the only thing that's like out that's kind of comparable is like what a court of whatever Thorn roses yeah. it's like a court of for the whole series oh it's like a million of them there's that and then I've heard of um I don't know what the original thing is but shadow and bone like mm -hmm. series. I'm lacking sorry people but I've been working my way through the classics. I've been chewing my way through the like 
old old book so I haven't been very caught up on what we I don't have been to. I don't think I can get back into fantasy anymore <laughs> I don't know I feel like everything kind of just became what patty fantasy takes also a lot to get into because you have to like world build yeah maps. I'm like girl I'm also on a book buying van now <laughs> because I need to like actually read my books I but- was just allowed to buy new books because I finished everything on my shelf such an accomplishment um and I got the bell jar by Sylvia Plath Cat's Cradle by Kurt Vonnegut again doing the classics but then I got um Electra by Jennifer Saint it's one of those like Mm. um yeah yeah, yeah. that in like ancient Greece but like told from like modern lens very fun and then Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabriel Zevin so So we'll see how those go do you only read physical books or do you read audiobooks and or kindle um I haven't been able to do like kindle or iPad because um I'm dyslexic and a physical book is just easier for me to read um but audiobooks podcasts anything like that um I'll throw on just like while I'm out and about and that makes things easier but if I love a book or I like know that I'll just want it on my shelf I'll buy the physical copy and read that but I also like to annotate so that's like another thing I can't like sell my books back (laughs) I have to keep them forever that's true are you a kindle girly no I don't have a kindle I like don't have an ipad or anything like that I really want an ipad like I don't know why I'm like I think I would get my life together if I had an ipad (laughs) but it's just not true look at her she has an ipad there's Ryan why is he there (laughs) Uh, because it's just like a collage there's like a sideways version that has more people in it I thought it was just him (laughs) no it's a picture of me Ryan and Tati in the collage on my laptop screen um and I have you know how iOS released that like big update where you could start personalizing your home screens oh I don't know yes it was like two years ago in 2021 or 2020 um I took like hours to do that and if I have met like one of you in person you guys are featured on my home screen (laughs) okay show us whenever you get the chance (laughs) I'll pull that out later (laughs) no I don't I I do only like physical books I don't know if I can like audiobooks I think I tried it maybe for a minute and then I didn't like it it really really depends on who the narrator is like if they don't have a good reader or if like the reader isn't believable as Percy it's not gonna go well is there like a good audiobook that you you like read that you really enjoyed listening to? um I listened to Wuthering Heights um as an audiobook I read it for a high school English project like I had to write this giant term paper on it um and I had the audiobook going while I was reading the physical book and that made everything a lot easier and that book is so hard to understand sometimes so it's nice to have someone reading and then they switched voices based on like the age of the narrator which was very helpful because of that book goes throughout time a million different ways I don't know her but yeah I bet (laughs) like anything that's on a list for an English class I'm not reading it (laughs) really yes I think those are so important to read because it's like, why why do we think, like, they shape our culture. Why do we think it's real? Like, I read 1984. It was the most, like, pulling teeth, mm-hmm. horrible read that I've ever had. Um, I, like, got so close to not finishing it. Um, but now I understand why no one knows what communism is because that book is, like, super duper, paints it in the exact wrong way. <laughs> but it's fun there are a couple that are like genuinely good though I like enjoyed like doing it in English class but on my own I'm like I don't know if I want to put the effort into understanding this yeah that really depends on the author like um Kurt Vonnegut is really easy to just like read for pleasure like not have to dig in too far um and the same with A Picture of Dorian Gray, that book was just like fun. But other ones like 
1984, anything by Hemingway, um, things by F. Scott Fitzgerald that aren't The Great Gatsby are a lot tougher to get through and like figure out on your own. But you do it. I do. It's fun for me. <laughs> wow, you should have been an English major. <laughs> I should have, but then everyone who was an English major at my college was the worst person I've ever met, so. No tea, no shade, if you're watching. Just kidding. Um, if you're watching, you're actually my friend and I love you and you know the people that I'm talking about. Big we love. <laughs> <laughs> Not an audiobook, but this is an app that I've had since high school. So it's like a running app. It's called Zombies Run. No one knows what I'm talking about when I talk about this app. But What's it's been, name? It's like you listen to it while you run and it like gives you a story and you're like a runner in the zombie apocalypse and there's like lore, there's relationships, like there's certain times where you're like you're being chased by a zombie and you have to like run faster. You don't have to, but like, you know, for the cinematic, that's not a word, but so I kind of want to get back into it because there's like several seasons and there's lore and my sister was fully in this fandom like <laughs> whenever it was like in its peak I don't know what people are still doing it but do you like to run I'm starting to get back into going to the gym and stuff so I, I do like can you hear that kind of what? but it's not super loud oh, I just heard like a thud Oh, okay. It's like really loud to me. So I didn't know if it was coming over the mic. Did you hear that, James? <laughs> <laughs> I actually recently got a hatch alarm. Um, That looks really cute. Does it like light up to wake you up and stuff? Yeah, so it like basically wakes you up with the sunrise. So mm -hmm. you, up to, you can do it as long as just it, but like I'll do like wake me up 30 minutes with the light before my alarm goes off and they have like pink noise rain noise whatever you want to listen to while you sleep um and there's different like light settings because I'm like really bad with my sleep hygiene so Nick got me this <laughs> and it's like more relaxing to wake up in the morning and like gives me like a sunrise because I didn't have that before that Sometimes. might be a good investment for this room it is expensive but is it 130 sounds like a birthday gift I yeah and I like I don't know if it's worth it I do like it a lot but it's just like there's more features I wish there would have been mm -hmm. but I don't know if you do you listen to like white noise and stuff um I usually just have like a video going but white noise would probably be like better for me <laughs> yeah, I don't like listening to like rain and stuff but there's like pink noise that I've recently been putting on which is, is like pink noise they're all the okay they're basically all the same it's just like the frequencies or like the actual like intensity of it I guess uh, <laughs> I, I listened to a video I was like what's the difference between white pink and brown noise I still don't get it but it's just like more heavier I guess but I've been like pink noise you gotta do what you gotta do I guess Anything yeah. that helps you sleep. Highly recommend this hatch alarm. And I can change colors too. I have pink on right now, but there's plenty of different colors and different. But then I have to like have a trial if I want to listen to more noises, which is kind of annoying. You have to like subscribe? But pay. they already charge you $100 for the light. So whatever. Can you hook up like your Spotify or anything like that? Which is like, I wish, you know? Ooh, yeah so I don't know if it's worth 130 but I like it yeah recent purchase I'm also getting a new phone but he's been stuck in South Boston for a week now and I'm like hi can you pick it up no I don't know it's like through Verizon so I'm like trading in my current phone right oh yeah you know, a winter storm happened last week. Do you week. have a home button? No, I have an um, 11. Okay, so you're not that far behind. No, but like, if you think about it, I got this in 2019. It's been like four years. 11 came out in 2019? Yeah. Oh, I don't know if I got that, but that's when I got my 11. 
Whoa, that's crazy. Other exciting news, guys, I'm gonna be a gamer girl. I'm building a PC. Whoa, Whoa moving from Mac. Yeah, well, I have, I'm gonna keep my laptop. We're It's just me and my sister are gonna share a PC. We have all the parts. I'm just still waiting for a few. Nick's gonna build it for me because I don't. I what don't. room is it gonna live in? We're gonna put it in the living room. Okay. We couldn't compromise because, <laughs> and we also have different aesthetic. Like all of her furniture is black, and all of mine is white. And I'm like, I don't want you in my room gaming, and I don't want to be in her room gaming. So we're like, let's just put it outside. <laughs> put it in a neutral space. Yeah. So we've been like decluttering for that, but. If you have game wrecks, guys, send them to me. I'm very bad at gaming, but I'll try my best. <laughs> um, I am not a gamer girl, but I do play Stardew Valley and Animal Crossing on my Nintendo Switch. And You're that's it. More girl than me. So Yeah, I have um the Aww. toy version of the Nintendo Switch. And it's always within reach because I'm working towards perfect on a new farm for Stardew. <laughs> Are you still playing Animal Crossing? Um, on and off. Stardew has been more of a grind lately just because like it's so much easier to start it up and I got my island to a place where it can run itself. So I have to like um, delete and restart if I want it to be like exciting again, which I don't feel like doing yet. I don't feel like saying goodbye yet. So yeah fun yeah my friend was like I Stardew Valley I'm like I probably should <laughs> Stardew Valley together <laughs> well you have to play it on switch I don't know if you have oh no we could play it on switch together or we could also play it on pc because I have it on my mac nice. okay mm-hmm. we could do a little game sesh yeah so join us on twitch Monday <laughs> <laughs> I'm... <laughs> so I'm streaming now <laughs> <laughs> Have you played Fall Guys before? Fall Guys? Yeah, it's like funny. <laughs> I feel like you would enjoy it. It's like, like is it a streamer? It's just like dudes being dudes. <laughs> <laughs> They're all just looks like you, so you'll understand what I mean. <laughs> just like look at these guys. These guys just being dudes. Oh, they look really cute. Cute, and then so you go like do these obstacles, and you like don't let them fall. Basically, this looks like a shitty iphone game that they advertise to you where you like run through the obstacle course yeah literally but, but it's actually much better no yeah it's fun <laughs> i'm bad at it though i'm bad at everything um but yeah that's the exciting news other exciting news we're both going to london somehow not at the same time which was really rude we should have tried to coordinate better but <laughs> i know that you would be there too yeah. <laughs> I leave in like two weeks for London. How long are you in London? Um, I'm there for 10 days. Wow. Mm-hmm. I'm there for like five. So not that long. Or six, I don't know. Still still a good amount of time. We're still going to London. <laughs> you guys are going to London. Well, I don't think any Star Wars people are listening, but if you're going to Star Wars Celebration, London, I'll be there. Say hi. <laughs> um... Any good current reads, watches, listens? Um, Have a listen. No, it's all pretty much the same for me. I'm about to dig into the bell jar, I think, next, which I don't know. It's Sylvia Plath, so I don't know if it's like going to be depressing as hell. I feel like probably, but um, we'll see. Of course, still watching The Last of Us, cried like a little baby. I didn't watch the latest episode. It's good. This one is, it's a little scary. I so, saw those, but yeah. yeah, so this week is a little scary, but it's like another excellent episode again. Um yeah, but I think that's all that I really it's been a lot of just like what I'm used to to read and watch lately. I'm kind of annoyed that okay, the last of us comes out on Sundays and I'm always doing stuff with my friends on Sundays and then <laughs> Disney plus like Star Wars and Marvel shows come out on Wednesdays and I'm always in the office on Wednesdays so I always have to wait to watch my favorite shows which is so annoying why do they come out on Wednesday no and it's always like at 
3 a.m. for us too. Like it's like midnight releases. Midnight Pacific. Yeah, Pacific. And I'm like, girl, I'm asleep. Like, why? Why does it have to come out then? And then I have to avoid my phone all day. Even when I'm bored at work, I can't go on it <laughs> because I don't want to look at spoilers. Ugh, that's really annoying. Yeah, I get to watch The Last of Us as it airs. I'm always like logging into HBO at 9 p.m. Like, give me the next episode. But uh, yeah, recently uh, we watched Fleabag season two. Have you seen Fleabag? No, I have. Is that the one with the hot priest? You need to see Fleabag. <laughs> everything. It's everything. You would enjoy it, I think. Okay. Maybe I'll give it a try. I've been like kind of on the lookout for new things to watch. Like I I'm exiting my rewatch era, you know, when you're just like too anxious to watch anything <laughs> new. It's like really like easy to binge, first of all. It's only mm-hmm. a couple of episodes and they're like 30 minutes. And you'll want to binge it too. Season one is like, you you don't really need to watch season one, honestly, if you don't want to. It's more just like the backstory of her. But season two is hot priest, heartbreaking, all the emotions, hilarious, so fun. My friends have also been on me to watch um, Sex Lies of College Girls. Too. Okay. Yeah. That one's like messy, but like you kind of expect it to be messy. (laughs) okay yeah yeah it's fun um I finished you season four part one Mm -hmm. I watched that as well I thought it was ass I wish they killed him and kept love instead I thought love was a more compelling character I know that the the um, characters are supposed to be like insufferable but I hate them (laughs) But you can do, like, bad people and still, like, have it be an enjoyable show. Like, Bojack Horseman, all of those characters are awful, and I love it. I haven't seen Bojack Horseman. Bojack is one of my, like, comfort. Like, if we lose Netflix because of the password sharing debacle, um, I'll buy it, like, somewhere to just own it. I know, I know. People love it. And, like, I think I've seen, like, one episode. Do I need to- have to, like it or like what's the vibe um I binged it and I loved it um season one like it's fine um I would say that season one is the worst season um and it gets better after that season two is also a little like I don't know um but it, it has like two arcs um one through three is like its own arc and then four five six is like another one but they're like it follows the same story it's Bojack the whole way through but um yeah I think the second arc is a lot more compelling than the first one you just have to like get through but it's excellent um there's 12 episodes in all the seasons except season six episode 11 is always like bad Uh, yeah just like a gut punch it's not necessarily like the most heartbreaking all the time but it's the one where like like shit happens and you're just like oh my god and usually the like season like all of the conflict builds to episode 11 and then episode 12 is like a wrap up and prep for the next season which I think is like a wild way to do it because there aren't as many like intense cliffhangers it's just sort of like oh my god and then you have like an episode to breathe. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. I need to watch that. Um I'm also watching Outer Bank season three came out. I don't know if you watch that show. I it's don't, really- but it's another one that people are like, you have to watch this. <laughs> well, I love trash TV, so I think that's where it's coming from. That's true. I don't I'm know. a real truther, and I will stand by that. <laughs> like I'll eat that shit up (laughs) yeah like what's going on I don't know they have superpowers now and they're in the 50s like whatever like there's just more and more happening and it's so unrealistic (laughs) it's so easy to just turn my brain off and watch Riverdale Riverdale and I love it for that well like the I only watched the first season but that one was like decent and then it I would venture to say the first season was good yeah and then 
and then why are they what marvel time travel? <laughs> well, what? i don't know it's so fun they like jump the shark season two episode one um and it's so fun then they like try to reel it back in for season three and it's so boring and then they realize that it's boring so then they just like keep pushing the envelope and making it absolutely insane um they also start having musical episodes and they are like there's one a season they're the worst thing i've ever seen i don't watch them on rewatch because like what the fuck but it's like fun in the moment yeah, I mean, it's kind of like Grey's Anatomy. I don't know if you watch Grey's Anatomy. Mm. There's 20 I think it's the same vibe. Grey's. But occasionally there's like a musical number while someone's like dying or something. And I'm like, it's ridiculous. You're just like, where am I? Like, what happened to the plot? The original plot of the movie. <laughs> Literally. I mean, I, you all, y'all have fun though. You TV writers in that writer's room. We would they do are doing something, you know? I don't know if it's high art, but it sure is something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, speaking of, you know Angela Bassett did the thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can't. I watched the whole performance, and I didn't think it was that bad. Like, it's just the rap where she's, like, chasing the beat. But she's incredibly talented. She's amazing. Like, literally an Oscar winner. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know who wrote that because it sounds like something that like me and my sorority sisters would write in 30 minutes on like a retreat. Oh, for sure. So I don't know, but good for you. Jamie Lee's defending her. She's all of us. She truly is all of us. <laughs> I love her. Um, but yeah, we have like five minutes left in my Zoom meeting. But good episode, good recap on life. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. And our social medias are here. We're on Instagram, TikTok. Podcasts are on YouTube, Spotify, and Apple. And we'll try to be here every other week. Been going good so far. Um, We're happy to talk about anything if you guys have any recs. Mm -hmm. You can drop them in the comments on YouTube or there is a little place to like Drop your ideas on Spotify if you scroll down on the episode page. Um, we'll see it. It'll come through, but everything. Yeah. Um, and yuck. Love you. Bye. Bye.